good, and I was thinking about some different things, and I was thinking about this crazy question of what would you do? I know we've all seen those um, different, different, um, what is it, like TV series about saying what would you do about a certain situation? Well, here's a question for you guys. What would you do if, say, a kid, let's give him about 10 and under, I'd say, is that about 5th grade or something, <coughs> went and, um, went and said something that was incredibly rude, how would you go and how would you respond to that? Um, there is, I think there's three different things that happened to me. Um, first thing, uh, la sometime last year, I think it was about April, March, summer's there, of last year, the fifth grader came up to me and said that, oh, girls shouldn't go and have sideburns and stuff like that, and just made that comment, and I exactly didn't know what to say to them and didn't know what to do. I mean, I want to go and I want to be myself and I want to do things that are for me and that, you know, like, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what certain things do, but how am I supposed to go and explain that to a fifth grader? Um, second situation was August, in August, and it was the day, you know, it was, it was, it was a big, you know, it was a, it was a hectic day, and it was the day that my brother was going to go and get married. It was the day before, and, um, I don't know, like, the little girl went, and, um, as we were unloading my other brother's vehicle with some wedding stuff that we were supposed to go and take for, um, what is it, the reception, and, um, we were going and unloading some stuff. Well, when I was going back and I was going to, like, take a box inside, the little girl turns to me as she, well, as she's walking by, goes, you're fat. And it just made me freeze and it made me feel bad and it made me feel horrible. And I exactly didn't know what to say and didn't know how to respond to that and just didn't know exactly, you know, what to say. I mean, what would you do in that situation? I think she's about first or second grade. Somewhere's there and I didn't exactly know how to how to respond to that and my brother just goes and tells her, That's not nice. You need to apologize. But after that, I mean I don't know. I don't I don't try to go and put my situations in that in, anymore. And I don't try to, you know, because I don't try to be around that little girl <laughs> anymore. Um, because I mean I can't say anything and, you know, all all of that, I mean I want to say something, but then, you know, you're supposed to go and have so much respect for, you know, their parents and stuff like that. So, I just, I just kind of let it slip by, but, I mean, it just brought back so much memories. Um, because my brother used to go, and he used to make fun of my size, and he used to um, go and sing this song, Fatty Fatty 2 by 4 couldn't fit through the bathroom door and he would sing it constantly and constantly and constantly and I I don't know I had such low self-esteem but yet I was trying not to show it and every single time it would go and make me cry and just like that little girl saying that all over again brought it all back and I I I just I just didn't know what to say and just didn't know how to deal with that situation. Um, now, another time uh, was just recently. I think it was like Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere there. This little boy, again, with my sideburns, uh, like, um, went and told me, you need to shave your sideburns. I, I don't get where kids are going and coming from anymore. Like... I, I try to, like, go and always be positive and just 
not think about it, but I don't know. It had me thinking all over again, and it just, it you know, it's like one of those things where you have been put down before, and you just don't know what to say anymore, and you just, it's so hard to deal with, and it's just, it's just a crazy situation. But, I don't, I like, there, there's just so many different things, and that's, that's what I want to know. I want to know, um, what exactly would you have done in those situations? I mean, would you have done the same thing I did? Would you have just let it gone by and not say anything about it? Or would you have gone and said something and done something or, like, tell their parents or do any of that? And I I, I want to know what you, you y'all would do and... Let me know in the comments below, and let me know if you've ever been put through that, and, um, just, I don't, sorry, I'm so lost for words, and I'm, it just, it just hurts so much, and it's just a hard situation to go through, and it's very hard to open up and talk about things like this, and all of that. Anyways, I thought I would share that with you guys and let me know what you think. Don't forget um, about the contest. Um, what is it? About the contest, if we should or we shouldn't have one. Um, but yeah, like, just, you know, sorry. I'm just, I'm just, a lot's going through my mind at this point and thinking about that contest, and thinking about having one, and what to give away, and all that, but on that, on a, on a positive note, I, I, I didn't let it really affect me, and yeah, I did for a while, but I know that once I overcome it, and once it gets done, that I will be a better and po more positive person, and I just gotta keep smiling and never let it affect me so y'all guys be <laughs> be happy stay beautiful always be positive never give up show positivity today like go and tell somebody just today that they are beautiful and that you understand and just be there for that person all right guys i will see you tomorrow or see you later Either or. Bye, guys.